Today, our capybara are going to swim for the first time. And we're going to see what happens. <laughs> what happened? They said, oh my goodness, that water is something else. Shake it off, shake it off. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at the ranch. Today, you guys, we are at first aquascape ecosystem that is on our ranch right here in the front and this is my mom's koi pond but what we're gonna do because she's not home right now is we're gonna go get our baby capybara and we're gonna show them their first pond and see if they're ready to swim they're just at about a month old right now and i think it is time for them to go into a big pond to start swimming so we can start bringing them every day running around the front yard and having a blast with them so that they are dog tame so we're gonna go to the back real quick and grab our three baby capybara all right so we got both babies right here and cassandra has the third one we're gonna place these guys down right here at the same time and we're gonna see what happens. Let's see if they go swimming for the first time inside of their pond. We got both of the babies right here. Let's see if they'll go swimming. Go ahead, you guys, go in the water. And the third one's in a bush over there hiding. Go ahead, you guys. Go ahead, go in the water. I think this is a complete disaster plan. I think that they are not used to the pond, obviously. It's a very large pond. They don't have their mother showing them how to do it. It is a little colder out and I don't want to go in the water with them. I might have spoken too soon. <laughs> I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. Wow, that water's a little cold, mama. <laughs> <laughs> they said, oh my goodness, that water is something else. Shake it off, shake it off. All right, so I think the water is a little too cold. I don't think it's going to be a great idea to put them into the water right now. So let's see what happens. We're going to give them a little experience of walking around, hanging out with us, and let the baby capybaras stretch their legs and have a good time outside. So pretty much swimming lesson failed number one. Alright, they're coming back this way. Come on you guys, follow me. You guys gotta follow me. As you guys can see, they definitely have calmed down a lot more since the first time. And um, I want them to start following me like mom. So as you guys can see, they're moving around. They're figuring it out. Come here guys. Come here, come here, come here. Come here you guys. The three musketeers. Come on, come on, come on. They're so cute, I can tell you that much. The two of them jumped in the water and the one didn't. So that is one of the girls, one of the, I think the other one's the boy and then a girl. So we have two girls and a boy, I'm pretty sure. And um, the other two are right there. But hopefully they go into the grass and they're gonna let them graze some. The other two are right there, look how cute they are. Hey Missy, you're supposed to stay with the group. Uh-oh, maybe we'll get one to go in the water. Now they're calming down a little bit. They're figuring it all out. Let's see if they start jumping around and having a blast. They'll go in the sun. They're freaking cute. I don't know. I, I can't lie. They are one adorable species of animal. Uh oh, the last one that hasn't gone in the water yet. Let's see what happens. Now that we're not forcing them or pushing them towards it, they're exploring on their own. I think they might just jump in on their own. But that water is a little cold, I'm not gonna lie. So that's probably gonna give them a little eh feeling to wanna really go in. <laughs> kinda look like rabbits. Guinea pig. Big guinea pig. Big guinea pig, for sure. We technically 
What? We need names. We need names? Yeah, we do need names. Because we have thing one and thing two, the parents. But we should definitely have names for these guys. So put it down in the comments what we should name them. And we're probably going to have to rehome one of them. In somewhere in the state of Florida. We'll have to figure that out. The other one just jumped in. Oh, took off running. So yeah, this is something that we're definitely going to be doing uh, more often with them. Just bringing them outside with us, away from the adults, just so they start following us around. So that, again, like we've always mentioned from the beginning, when these guys were born, we want them to be great ambassadors for us, for our videos. So it'd be really, really neat to have them on video and just petting them, rubbing their bellies, doing their thing and making them act like big old giant guinea pig dogs. <laughs> So one of them just took off, but we stopped filming on accident and it had like a little bit of the zoomies having a blast. The one that's not wet did. That one's the smallest one. <laughs> and again, you guys, the reason why they suddenly jump and make those weird movements is because again, they are prey animals. So being prey animals, they're always on high alert making sure nothing is happening to them and running to the bushes or the lakes or the ponds to get away from any predators if any predator is nearby. So it's been just about, about an hour now since these babies have been walking around exploring the pond. We've been making sure Cassandra and I that they stay in just this section of the ranch. And um, they really have no interest in going in the water right now. And mainly the reason is, is because like Oliver and Callie, well more Oliver, when we first got Oliver, Oliver was scared to go in the water as well because he didn't have his mom to push him in. I'm not in the pond with them, so they're not gonna be in the pond with them. So when that water warms up, if you guys want me to go swimming with my baby capybara inside this pond, let me know down in the comments because that's gonna be 100% possible once the water warms up a little bit. Because as you guys know, the beginning of this week when you guys saw the first video that the ranch froze, it literally did freeze and it was really, really cold out and that water is still a little cold because we never put a heater in this one because it's just cold. But give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, put your post notifications on and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs almost four to five times out of the week. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. They're leaving too. Look. Hey, where are you guys going?